Hey everyone, welcome back to part two, and in this video we're going to program it. So before we get started, I do want to indicate that right now we're in the zero angle position, and if we were at the starting position, which most vehicles will be starting at, we're going to be at about negative 90 degrees, and if we're you know at max RPMs and going at max speed, we're going to be at 90 degrees, okay? So let's keep it at zero for now, but that's going to change as we progress in this. Head over to your graph, to the side over here, and we're going to need to create a function. So create a function by clicking on that. We're going to call this get velocity. And then we're going to add a couple outputs. So just click new parameter twice. These are going to be integer based. So let's go ahead and call the first one angle velocity. That's what's going to control the needle. And then the other one, we're just going to call it Let's call it text velocity. And that is going to be controlling the text box so that we know what our velocity actually is. We will also need a variable. So over in local variables, let's add one. And we're just going to call this velocity. And that itself will also be an integer. Now in the widget blueprint, let's stretch this out a little bit and add in a few things. First, we're going to need to get the player pawn. So we're going to just type get owning player pawn. That is whatever you're controlling because in this case, we're not or we may not be controlling a third person character. So we just need to be grabbing whatever it is we are controlling. And let's drag off of here and cast this to our vehicle. So mine is a Subaru. So I'm going to cast mine to a Subaru underscore BP, my blueprint. But whatever your vehicle is, you're going to want to cast it to your vehicle. Okay, that's going to connect right into here. We're going to need to know the velocity or how fast our vehicle is going. So if you drag off that and we can use one of Unreal's functions, get velocity, that's just going to essentially give us a number for what our velocity is. And we're going to take that number and separate it into a vector length. So drag off of here, type in vector length, and let's just take that one. And then we will, whatever the vector length is, we will set it to our velocity variable that we created, or that I thought we created, but maybe I didn't actually name it here. So I'm just going to call this velocity. That was that integer value we created earlier. So now we can I hopefully drag off of this and type set velocity. Turn off context sensitive. And there's our set velocity box. And let's connect that over to our set velocity and then see if this will connect to here. Okay. So it looks like it will, uh, as well as it will convert it, uh, which is fine. And then we will take our velocity, and right now it's in its text form, so we can just probably connect that to our text. Nice. And then we also need to get an angle for it. So let's drag over here and just say, like, divide integer. Whoops. Divide integer, so integer divided by integer. We're going to need to divide our number by something. And I believe it's traveling in centimeters per second. So if we divide this by 3500, that should give us an appropriate angle. And then we're going to connect that to our angle velocity and just grab that and connect that there. Okay, so hopefully that works. Let's hit the compile button and that looks good. Okay, now that that's done, let's jump back to the designer and we're going to bind our text. Select the text box, text, and go to the bind option. We're going to create a binding and we're going to kind of stretch this out a little bit. Grab that velocity function we created, drag it out here, connect that to our text. And then we need to take our text velocity and divide it. So I told you it's centimeters by, per second. So I went online and I converted centimeters to second to miles per hour because that's currently what we're working with. And it says here the formula is to divide the speed value by 44.704. So we'll just go ahead and round that to 45. I'm going to drag off our text velocity and do a divide 
by integer, I guess. And we're going to then change this to 45. Now we can convert that to text. So I'm going to drag off this node and just say to text uh, integer. There we go, to text integer. And we'll drag off this node and let's do a format text. And this is actually a really cool function because it lets us quickly change our text format. Um, let's break this link for a second so I can show you. Uh, it's got a box here and if you click in the box and you do like a squiggly bracket and you'll know it's squiggly because it will pop up with something on the bottom. So let's go ahead and just do speed, close squiggly, space, and do miles per hour. And then just press like enter. If you do it correctly, then you'll get a speed option down here. And what that's going to do is whatever number we currently have, it's going to put it inside of these curly squiggly brackets and then display miles per hour afterwards. So well, let's go ahead and connect that to our speed. And then this will be our return value. And then we connect that into here. Okay. So go ahead, think this through, but this is just, just uh, displaying the text. Whatever number we have, it will divide it and then it will convert it into text and display it in our number binding. Okay, so our text should work now. The last thing we need to do is program the needle. So you want to get over to your event graph and mine's over here. You'll know you're in the right one if it says something like speedometer dash event graph. Uh, and I believe, yeah, I believe it should just be over there. I don't think I did any special thing to get in there. Uh, and it should have three of these. Now, the last one's event tick and mine, I took off the comment of it, but it's fine if you do or if you don't. And we are now going to program the needle. So drag off event tick and first cast to your vehicle. So mine is my Subaru Impreza BP. And it's very similar to what we did before. We're gonna drag off the object. And we're gonna say get owning player pawn. And then we're going to get our velocity. So get velocity. Oh, not that one. It's uh, the one, our function, get velocity. So let me actually drag that out and <laughs> immediately delete it now. Uh, get velocity. Connect that to that. And then uh, right now our angle is at zero. Remember I said it's at zero. It's a vertical. Uh, over at the designer, but if we want it to be at this position down here, that's negative 90. So let's just go ahead and for our angle velocity, which is what controls the needle, let's drag over there and just do a minus integer. So integer minus integer, and let's set that to minus 90 degrees. And now we got to actually put that in the needle. So let's create a condition. I'm going to drag off the velocity and get a branch. And the condition is going to be whether or not the car is moving. So the car is moving if it's greater than zero. So we've already done our text. So let's use our text velocity to set this up. Now let's do a greater than or equal to integer. And if it's greater or equal to zero, and that's our condition. So if it's not greater or equal to zero, we just want the needle to be at the negative 90 position. So I'm going to drag off float here, or false, and I'm going to set render angle. Of the needle, so find your needle in the variables over here. I'm going to drag that over, get needle, connect that to the target, and we're going to set that as our negative 90 degrees. So I'm going to drag that, drag that over, and it's now converting that, okay? So that's what happens if it's false, if our vehicle is not moving. But if it's true, then we want our vehicle to move. So I'm going to copy these two things, control C. I'll paste them over here, control V. If it's true, we want our needle to move. So we need to know what our velocity is. So I'm going to right click here and type in get velocity to get that 
velocity transform function that we got before and we need it to be based off our Subaru's velocity so I'm going to connect that to our uh, Subaru or to your vehicle blueprint whoops sorry okay so that's just connected there and then off of this we need to convert that vector so we're going to do a vector length okay so now that's going to take whatever number we have and convert give us a vector length for it and then we need to add that to whatever we currently have so I'm going to drag off of this and say add float so float plus float and let's add in whatever we currently have so the negative 90 plus whatever our vector length is and then that is going to determine the angle okay so hopefully that makes sense uh, and I'm going to show you one thing with this and then we're going to jump back to here real quick click the compile button and hopefully it will compile if that's done then we could close out of this go to your blueprints and open level blueprint I already have this for me but if you don't you're gonna to need to add it you want to right click and create an event begin play then after that you're gonna to need to right click and create a widget so create a widget is the command and specify your class as your speedometer and then lastly the last command is add to viewport and you're going to want to connect these two nodes okay if those are connected then this should work uh, when we finish this up so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and when I press play there's my car there's my miles per hour and there's the needle and when I drive it you're going to see the miles per hour goes up and the needle turns but the needles way too sensitive so it's like going up way too far and just spinning over and over again so let's go ahead and reduce the sensitivity of it it's really quick to do so just uh, when we're adding in that vector length whatever it is because it's too much it's too big of a number let's divide it by something so I'm going to drag off of here and say like divide whoops wrong divide float okay and let's just uh, let's just do 10 okay whatever number we get we're gonna divide it by 10 before we actually add it to the negative 90 and then that's going to control our needle so I'm going to compile that close out of here and hit play and now when you drive the vehicle you'll notice the needle is acting a lot more controlled and yeah it's working pretty nice ah okay <laughs> but yeah and if it's still you know too sensitive or not sensitive enough you can always go back to this number and you can adjust it if the miles per hour number is like not good enough also remember you can just jump back to here so this is our get text function that binding that we did and you could adjust this number over here that division number to make it more sensitive so instead of negative 45 let's say negative or divide it by 15 okay so if I now play my game you'll notice that the miles per hour goes up a lot faster so you have like it could create an illusion of speed if that makes sense okay so hopefully you found that useful creating a speedometer getting the the, the speed to display if you have any questions about that feel free to let me know otherwise this is mr z signing out peace